Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, you are watching this as part two of my Enchanted Mysteries unboxings. Today's box is just about the pins. This is the Disneyland Paris pin box sent to me from my friend Karen, who is the owner of Enchanted Mysteries. She does all kinds of different mystery boxes, British ones, Paris ones, Disney focused ones, Harry Potter ones, and I cannot wait to open it up. Okay, so if you just got done watching the other video, you saw me unwrap the amazing wand and the amazing Erebus Brothers, the, the crystal Minnie Mouse, so many beautiful things. So if you did not check out that video, make sure you go and do so. You will love it. I am still kind of breathless and stunned at how gorgeous the items were. So I'm just coming off of that and I'm now gonna do the pin portion. Now, of course, you could order these together, but um, with the pins, she did send me a questionnaire where I was to answer a whole bunch of things about what kind of pins did I like? What kind of characters did I like? Did I collect a particular kind of pin? And so I'm really excited to open this up. Now, all of her boxes do come incredibly well packaged. They are shipped from the UK. She does ship all over the world. And yeah, we are just, we're just gonna dig right into this beautiful box. So this is packaging I've not seen before. This is lovely. Okay, so it is, as always, really pretty when you first open it up. I also have this little piece of foam right here because that will help me when I go to show you guys the pins. So thank you, Karen, for including that in the other box. <laughs> it was packaging to something else, so that worked out really well. And we've got the little Enchanted Mystery Card, as always. It says, thank you for purchasing our June Mystery Box. It's been lovely seeing your reactions to our new design. May the mysteries continue, Karen, Karen and the team. Now, full disclosure, I am sent these boxes for free, so I always like to be really upfront about that, but if you would like to order a box of your own, you can go down in the description box, Go to her website, so many different options to choose from, and I think you'll find something that you will love for yourself or something wonderful to give as a gift. All right, so the first thing I'm seeing is I did get another one of the Disneyland Paris reusable bags. I love these. They are super handy to have. I love this particular size with the way that the handle is. So these are really cute and really useful and just, you know, a little bit about magic to have in your everyday life is never a bad thing. All right, I've got lots of shred, which is always fun. And this, let's just look at all the pieces in here first. I've got this beautiful red bag. I've got another beautiful postcard from Paris. I say another because the other box that she sent also had a postcard. Love it. Love the stained glass. That Disneyland Paris castle is just so, so pretty. And then I have this little blue pouch. So my guess is, yes, that there are probably pins in each of those. So let's do red or blue, red or blue. I don't know. I feel like, do you take the red, isn't that from a movie? The red pill or the, no, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not for this channel. Okay, so I'm gonna open these up. When I first look at this, there are two pins in the blue envelope. And the first one, sorry, these are gonna take a minute for me to get open because again, with the exquisite packaging so that nothing gets broken. The first one, oh, okay. So if you didn't already watch the other unboxing, this mini Disneyland Paris, um, like I guess you would call it her, I don't know, her, her style, her Paris style, let's go with that. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna take it out because then you'll be able to see it better. Her polka dot bow dress where she's kind of holding it and it like comes up. Let, let me just show you. Instead of telling you, let me just show you. Look at this. Can you even with that? How spectacular is she? The black with the red pumps, which are probably Louboutin. <laughs> Just beautiful. Oh my gosh. I don't know how that's gonna focus in best. I'm assuming it focused best in like that. But she could not be any cuter, any sassier, or any more beautiful. So well done, Minnie. 
And that is just says Design à Paris, which I'm assuming just means Design of Paris. And this went for eight euros. Oh, that's so pretty. I do have a small collection of Disneyland Paris pins from when I went to Disneyland Paris. Um, so these will make a lovely addition to that. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one is the Cheshire Cat. Now, the Cheshire Cat uh, plays very prominently. There is a whole Alice in Wonderland maze at Disneyland Paris that is extremely cool and quaint and very, very different. And I'm gonna hold this guy up against the blue background. That would probably be better. And there is our little Cheshire cat, and he has the This Way sign. And I love that this one has the little flowered background, and you can see the little flowers. You can learn a lot of things from the flowers. See how pretty? If you are not used to watching YouTube creators that burst into song, I'm here to help you get used to it. <laughs> anyway, he is just adorable and see how his this way is like pointing both directions a little confusing yeah i actually feel like he's in my brain quite a bit the cheshire cat yeah he's a whole he's a whole mood he's a whole mood so i love that i love that pen and of course it says disneylandparis.com on the bottom and then this next bit. Now, as I'm opening these, I have to tell you, I did not look in advance to see how much this box is. So I'll put it down here at the bottom. But again, everything that you need to order your own box will be down in the description box below. So oh, this is a good time to tell you, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. All right, now this one is a limited edition of 700 what? And it's got some movement going on. Okay, okay. Stay calm. So speaking of how I feel sometimes, here we have the witch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves or the Evil Queen, depending on her mood. And she's holding the apple, but I don't know if you guys can see that the apple is actually like a charm. It's actually dangling down. So the detail on that, the tree with the pink flowers. Now, I don't know. Oh, Prontemps is spring, I believe, right? Isn't that spring? I think it is, me and my high school French. But look it, you can see how it's a charm. And it says spring 2021 on it. I absolutely adore that pin and a limited edition of 700 that's crazy and that pin was 16 euros oh my goodness i love it i love it oh my gosh we still have two more so this is going to be a total of five pins oh so one of the things she asked was, who's your favorite character? And of course I said Mary Poppins because I always say Mary Poppins. I love her face on this. Okay, let me open this one up for you. This one might be my favorite. I don't know, that Minnie Mouse one is pretty spectacular too. But let's look at this one. There's Mary and she's got her, I don't know if you guys can see, she's got her umbrella and I love the colors. And look at the detail on the carpet bag. So see how it's got, the carpet bag has its own coloring. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And her, I love how she always is in first position. <laughs> For us dancers, we know that Mary always stands in first position. Love that pin. And there's not a price on this one, but it just says green. And I, I love this. That's, that's, you know, and, and it's funny with pins because it's never really like how expensive it is the pin or how exclusive it, exclusive it is the pin. To me, it's always like the character and kind of the attitude that the character is expressing. So that's, I think that's why that um, Minnie Mouse pin is, is just amazing to me. And then next up we have... So anything Alice in Wonderland is so fitting for Disneyland Paris. And next up we have the White Rabbit. And I just adore the White Rabbit. I think because he's 
on a on a really busy day, I, I kind of feel like he's my spirit animal because it's a little bit like, you know, rushing around, but yet what are we really accomplishing? And I I really want to slow down. Like I don't I don't necessarily want to be the white rabbit because he always seems harried and exhausted and running in circles and, and I want to be calmer than that. But if I'm gonna be honest, more often than not, I feel like the right the white rabbit. I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. I'm getting better as I'm aging. I'm trying to get better. But he's just darling, but look at his poor eyes. He always looks that way. He's always just like the bags under the eyes and could use, could definitely use a nap. He needs a little bit more of the Cheshire cat attitude and a little bit less of the running around like a crazy person attitude. Sorry. Uh, so anyway, this is just darling. I love this. And these look like they must be part of the same set. And then of course, the limited edition one is probably the, the most exquisite pin that is in here because I absolutely love that. And that is the uh, Disneyland Paris pin box. Now, if you are a pin collector, the reason I love getting these mystery boxes is you can decide which ones would you wanna keep and which ones would you want to trade. Um, I am probably going to keep all of these and not trade any of them because I happen to have a growing collection of uh, pins from the international parks. My son brought me some back from Shanghai Disney. I have some from Tokyo Disney. I really wanna add these to that collection, however, if even if it was for your kids or whatever, what a fun way to go to Disney World or Disneyland here in the States and do some pin trading and have some international pins to do that with. I think that could just be fabulous. What a great conversation starter. And that's one of the reasons why when my kids were little, we got into pin collecting in the first place because it really taught them great social interactions and kind of that give and take. And it was just a fabulous safe place for them to learn some of those things. So yeah, that's just kind of why we did pin trading when the kids were young and now I just love it. And I haven't done actual trading in a while. Um, my last two trips I've thought about it and I may do it this next year because it is just a really fun way to chat and hear great stories. And um, yeah, I just love doing it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this today. Check out the description box below for tons of great information, including how to get a pin box of your own and also how to go to Karen's website and see all of the amazing mystery boxes, Harry Potter, British, Disneyland Paris, regular Disney. And yeah, I think you will really love what you see there. So whatever you're doing today, I hope you're being really good to each other. If you didn't already, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.